So what's interesting is that research in this area of pregnancy and IBD is really exciting because one of the most important studies ever and probably will remain so is something called the PIANO study, which is led by uh, Uma Mahadevan in uh, UCSF um, and funded through the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. And this follows women who are pregnant, not preconception, but who are pregnant and looking at the medications that they have received throughout or even if they stopped, looking at also blood levels uh, in the cord blood, in the serum of babies, breast milk information, and it basically tracks the safety uh, of medications for both the baby and the mom throughout the gestation, throughout pregnancy, and in the postpartum. And I think that's where we've gotten a lot of somewhat relief of our anxieties as well, and provided a lot of helpful information to the community at large, including patients. The idea that sort of the theme is that Control of inflammation is important. Disease activity probably impacts a lot of outcomes, such as being worried about small for gestational age if they haven't grown during pregnancy, preterm labor. We're looking at C-section versus vaginal delivery, wound repair after C-section or vaginal delivery. And basically, it has shown us that across the board, even exposure in the third trimester, which is the big, the big question, um, does not impact any of these outcomes of infection, which is probably the most important that everyone's really worried about, which is infections in the babies that are born exposed to these drugs that are, again, measurable in the cord blood. There's no denying that these drugs are measurable except for sertilizumab. And it's shown us that we could administer these drugs and keep the women under good control during pregnancy, and that's priority. And we compared women who were exposed to biologics, by the way, in the third trimester versus not, same outcome, so, but the number one risk is to the mum flaring. And if we go back to the common theme, that if the mum flares, she has inflammation and that impacts the baby. And we also showed that development and vaccine responses were not impacted by exposure in the third trimester. And if anything, those babies that were exposed to biologics actually had a slight point increase in the developmental milestone. I'm not saying these drugs make you smarter. It goes back again to the fact that control of inflammation excuse me, that control of inflammation is important.